Do you have problems making engine mounts? That's what I'm going to cover in today's video. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to cover the construction of an engine mount because I see a lot of people have problems, particularly putting the rings onto the tube. Um, this is the, the typical engine mount tube. Um, uh, you'll cut a slot into the tube um, and that's for the engine hook. Uh, the engine hook is what holds the engine in the, in the tube and this end right here goes into that little slot and then when you put the rocket engine in it it will slide in and then it will clip over the end just like that and then hold it in and then this part here allows you to bend it up so you can pull it out after the flight is over. Now when you're putting the rings onto the engine tube you can't put them on this way because it's not going to get over the lip of the tube. So the ring has to slide over this way, like that. And then you can slide it easily over the engine hook, like that. Now if your rings are hard to put onto the tube, if you have a hard time getting them started, just take some sandpaper and sand out the inside of the ring. like that and that should help you to get it over the tube. Um, I like to take a wood dowel and glue the sandpaper to it. This is one of my favorite tools. I use it all the time and this allows me to, to sand out the rings and if I got a long rocket I can get way deep up inside. Um, before you put any glue make sure you have all your rings onto the tube because if you put glue around the perimeter of the tube it's not going to go on very easily. You're going to have a hard time and a lot of people I've seen crush the tube trying to get it on. So make sure your rings are onto the tube first before you apply glue. Now another thing that you might have to do on your particular kit is to tie the shock cord onto the tube. Um, the reason we do it here is because the this is one of the strongest parts of the engine. Um, the engine in the back of the rocket is one of the strongest parts of the rocket so it makes a really good anchor so where it's not going to pull out. So what I do is I'll put it underneath the ring like that and if you're having trouble troubles getting the ring over the top of the shock cord take your hobby knife and just cut a V notch in the ring like this. You don't want to go all the way through. You just want it just to have a little notch where the shock cord can lay in and that makes it a little bit easier to slide it over to the over the tube like that. And what I'll do is I'll I'll wrap the shock cord around the tube and then I want to tie these together and I like to make a slip knot So to make a slip knot, I, I bring the string over the top of each other. So on this side is up. Then I'm going to go behind it, bring it underneath, so I got like a simple loop right here. Then I'm going to bring it around this shock cord here and then back through the ring and then I'm going to pull tight. And if I do it correctly, it should slide. See how it's sliding? It's, it's slipping through the knot. So I can pull it tight up against the ring right here and then cinch it down real good. And at this point I can start gluing things up. Um, the forward ring, this is going to be the front end of the rocket. I like to put right at the front end of the tube. And then the back ring I want to make sure I don't put it too far back onto the tube or I can't bend up the engine hook it's like that. So I like to put it at least a half of an inch back from the edge of the tube. So somewhere around there. So now I'm going to put glue on this. So 
So I'm going to put glue around the perimeter. And then slide the ring up into the glue. And you got to do it in kind of a quick motion or it will sometimes grab. You can see there's a lot of excess glue there. And I'll take that on my finger and wipe it off. Now I know some people are, don't like to get their fingers wet. They're, uh, so just wear some rubber gloves, that will work. Oh look, that thing came off. If it comes off, just put it back on. Put, put the shot cord through the ring. Get it into my groove. I got a fly buzzing around in the room and my dog is trying to catch it. <laughs> Stupid fly. Okay, so um, now I'm going to slide the ring back out of the way. I'm going to put my band of glue right here on the perimeter. And I like to use wood glue, but you can also use school glue. That works too. And slide that up into the ring until it's flush with the end of the tube. I always have paper towels handy. Okay, so now my shot cord, I'm going to pull it tight. And then I'm going to put glue over the, the shot cord. And now you have to make sure that that knot doesn't stick above the ring, because otherwise you're not going to be able to slide this into the body tube of the rocket. Okay, so I'm going to work that glue into that shock cord to hold it in position. Now any glue on the outside on the ring, I want to wipe that off because again that's going to make it harder to slide this into the rocket. Now there's one more ring and that is this um, engine block ring and that will slide into the tube and butt up against the part of the engine hook that protrudes inside the tube. And what this ring does is it prevents this metal hook from sliding forward because it could slide down and then into the rocket, allowing the rocket motor to move in the, rock, in the, in the tube. So I'm going to glue that ring into there. And you can take a cotton swab or a wood dowel, just put some glue on there. And then spread that in the tube. and then slide the ring in. And you got to do this in one quick motion or sometimes it will grab. So use a little extra glue in this spot. Normally I don't like to use extra glue, but when I'm sliding rings through the tube, I'll use extra glue just so it lubricates things a little bit. And then have a rocket engine handy because this I'm going to use to push it in all the way up to the, to the uh, back of that engine hook, just like that. Now when it slid through, it also pushed all the excess glue forward of the ring. So I'm going to take another Q-tip and I'm going to go in there and I'm going to clean out the excess glue. Take that excess glue out of there and I'm looking down in there, make sure that there's no glue in there. Because what that could do is it could harden on the inside of the tube and then my rocket motor, when I put it in, it might not want to go in all the way. It's because there's excess glue in there. So I'll also take a rocket motor and put it in there and twist it just to make sure I'm getting all that excess glue out. And you'll see it here on the front end of the rocket motor. Just wipe that off. And at this point, I'm just going to let all my glue dry before I put it into the rocket. Um, another trick I'll show you here is to take the shock cord. Normally this goes up the front end of the tube. Well, when we're pushing the engine mount into the rocket, it kind of gets in the way. So I'll just bring it out the back end like that. So when I'm pushing it into the tube, this is not in the way. And then I, once it's in the tube, then I can push it back through and out the front end of the rocket. So that's how to build an engine mount the correct way for your rocket. My name is Tim Van Milligan. If you like this video, down here is a like button here on YouTube. Um, and also make sure you subscribe to our videos because we'd love to have you and we uh, put out a video every two weeks so that this will allow you to be notified when there's a new video. And there's some other videos here on the side that I think you'll enjoy too.